Okay, thank you. Um, hi, my name is Emma Crabb. I am a senior at Ogallala High School. And this is my poem titled Narcissus Pools. My sanity has been invaded by mansplainers, propped up with their own self-confidence and the compassionate certainty that I, with feminine fingers, a matriarchal mind, and eyelashes batting in sheer confusion, am helpless. Mansplainers who see my raised hand in calculus class to be a flashing SOS signal encoded in a language only they can read. Saviors that arrange the map of paper in my face trace the work. It's a pretty tricky concept, but I think I have it figured out for you. My raised hand still begging for permission to go to the bathroom because I finished my assignment 10 minutes ago. Boys who build computers, so they are automatically more skilled in the IT department and always know what's wrong than mine. They can do anything, they build computers, congratulations. So skilled at placing together pre-made parts, they could work for Ikea. <laughs> Mansplainers who don't understand that using long words nobody understands isn't clever, it's narcissistic. Gazing into a pool of self-worth tainted with the image of something far nobler, gaze deeply and pretend to stand before the ocean with a well of infinite knowledge below. They use long words as a unit of measurement for their egos. They try, but I have better words than them. I have wrapped my worries around too many books and let the pages dissolve them. They cannot touch me here. I let myself fall into my narcissus pool until the words drown me and my veins are more water than blood. I have no mercy. But when I walk through the hallway with my head held high, how dare they press their thumb against my chin until my face is black and blue. I fall, but I always rise again. The, dimmer, the glimmer dims in their eyes and that is one battle I've won. One down with so many more to go, but every bruise and comment and metallic taste on my tongue is worth its weight in gold. Because we just reached integrals in calculus class, and the mansplainers drowning, taking in gulps of indecision and spitting out wrong answers. If he asks for help, then I'll throw him a rope, but for now, I sit under a shady tree, a summer breeze warm against my skin, as I watch his pool shrink by the second.